Hakim, how pleasing was that result and performance after what's been a busy week for Chelsea? Yeah, I think uh, especially after a European game, it's always difficult to come in the game again. Uh, I think we did a good. Uh, we had a good game, started well, and uh, yeah, we, need, we didn't have big problems at all. Just one big chance in the beginning, but I think after that we controlled the game. For you, two goals in two games and an, yeah. a, an assist. It's been a good week for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a good week for me, and uh, hopefully we can continue. So you had to wait for your opportunity at the beginning because of the knee injury. But how are you finding life at Chelsea? Uh, yeah, good, good. Uh, I am uh, where I'm supposed to be. I feel good. I'm feeling home and uh, everything is fine. The manager spoke about your inner belief and your confidence. How important is that when you come to the Premier League? Um, it's not only in the Premier League, but it, I think it's in every league. Um, I think this is one of the most important things. That you play with confidence and, and don't be scared to make mistakes or whatever. But otherwise, yeah. It will not go uh, how it's supposed to go. Is there a feeling now that, that Chelsea have, have got into their stride, that they're building momentum now? Yeah, we're still building and we're still in the process. But uh, yeah, every game we, uh, we, make, uh, we make steps and then let's keep it that way. Well done today. Thank you. I just think defensively they're a significantly better team with Mendy in there, Thiago Silva, Kante playing in front of the back four, they look really comfortable. And uh, I think offensively, we know they've got great weapons. This guy, Hakim Ziyech, we spoke about him before the game. He's going to create all kinds of opportunities. And to think about Timo Werner in there and Mason Mount, he was sharp, you know. Good goal from him, nice set from Tammy Abraham. And let's be honest, you know, one team tried to play, which was Chelsea, and one team didn't really play, and that was, and that was Burnley. And he was also impressive against Krasnodar as well, Tim, Ziyech was. Yeah, he was, yeah. And they, listen, they've got some fantastic offensive players. Credit to Kurt Zuma there, he loses his marker. eats far too easily, just drops in behind and he hits that with everything he's got into the top corner. Game over as soon as that one hits the net. We said that they were targeting Zuma in the first half, but he hits the target in the second. No, defensively, he, I think he's poor, but, you know, he scored three goals now for Chelsea. He has, <laughs> So he, he, has. he he's, um, you know, he can, he can help him out. First forward, uh, James there, he was excellent all game. Um, and this shuffle of feet there from Timo Werner, as soon as that ball gets laid into him for, by Ziyech, you know the outcome. You know what's going to happen. He just shifts it, exactly perfect touch with his left foot, on, opens up the target and bends it into the bottom corner. He was never, ever going to miss. Nice little ball into him as well. Yeah, easy for Ziyech. You know, the way to pass is so important. As Tim said, Timo Werner knows exactly who one sets it bottom corner. The balance of the Chelsea team looked really good. I think Frank's been looking for that and I think he found something today. Yeah, the clean sheet and the three-point. Impressive Premier League debut for Hakim Ziyech. Now, what you said right at the start of the show was you named three teams that you think would be up there. Two of them have already won, Manchester City and Chelsea. Good yeah, day I for both of them. I, I just, I, it's my firm belief that we're watching the champions today. We're, we're, whichever game you're going to watch, it's either going to be Liverpool, Chelsea or Manchester City. That's my opinion. I think Chelsea have got a squad now. I still think defensively they're a little bit poor, but I think they've got the firepower going forward um, to really challenge. Yeah, uh, Liverpool obviously got defensive problems with, with uh, Van Dijk missing. going to be crucial. I think uh, uh, all of a sudden Man City have got a defence, what looks like a championship winning defence. If they need to get Aguero fit and a bit more firepower up, up there, then I'll give them a real chance as well. But I can't see beyond these three teams. And mentioning defence, you said that Chelsea, of course, had a better balance, which was there for sure to see. But defensively, to keep another clean sheet, when we were all criticising them quite a lot at the start, that was important for Frank. Yeah, they looked so different with Mendy in there and I think Thiago Silva in there, Kante in there. I think the defence is there. Reese James, as Tim said before, is a fabulous player. So Chiel was done great. I think they're, they're getting somewhere. And I think the midfield balance, I liked it. Kante, Mount... And Havertz, I thought that worked great. Mount had a good game, didn't he, as well? Well, on that note, it's time.